and we do need things to change. I mean, all you have to do is look at where we are and say, this, this isn't working. And I don't care what your ideology is, I don't care what's in the back of your mind, but if you, if you just look at what's going on, you can't like the way Pennsylvania has gone. I mean, if you believe that in a democracy, a limited government democracy, that we should get a few things right, we shouldn't do everything, government, we should do things for ourselves, but education is one thing that we have to do for each other. If we don't get that right, we are hurting ourselves. That's not just the right thing to do, supporting education. It's the smart thing to do. And by taking money away from education, by making it a low priority, and I don't mean just, I mean here in Bloomsburg, not just at <coughs> basic education level, not just at the early childhood education level, but at the higher education level too. The whole gamut of education if we don't take that seriously, if we don't make that a priority, we're not going to get to a good place. So this election is about saying we don't want to go down that road anymore. We don't want to go down the road that says education doesn't matter. How about jobs? Ed elections are about jobs, right? Well, how have we been doing in that regard? Well, I used to say we've gone from 9th to 47th over the last three and a half years in terms of job creation. Well, the Bureau of Labor Statistics made me out to be wrong. Objectively, we're now 50th in job creation. We're at the bottom of the list. There is no state, not one state. There used to be three states below us. There's not any state below us anymore. We should be growing jobs at a record pace right now, not 50th. We should be number one in the country. That's going to take a government that actually believes in leadership, that believes in making public sector investments in public goods that are actually going to produce a return. Not making investments in things because you have a friend who gave you a contribution. Not because you're making investments because somebody knows you or gave you a yacht trip. Making investments because it's going to make Pennsylvania better. It's going to create jobs. Third, we have natural resources here. And I understand we have to, whenever we take advantage of natural resources, we have to be careful about making sure we, we don't trash our environment. But we have natural resources that we could actually use to our advantage. We have gas, everyone's talking about that. But we also have coal. We also have timber. Pennsylvania is one of the richest sources of hardwoods in the world. My kitchen cabinets use maple, but we have oak, we have walnut, we have black cherry. Our forests are full of trees. I mean, they're falling down faster than we can harvest them. That's a natural resource. We have fresh water here. We have natural beauty that attracts people as tourists, as hunters, as people who are coming here to fish. We have all those things in Pennsylvania. We ought to make sure that we're taking advantage of those things. If any other state had just a few of those things, they would be number one on that list of job creators. Why we're number 50th, I don't know.